We're going to look at variables and randomness now. All I have is these two blocks of code. When the flag is clicked, I think I have $15. What I want to do is have a different amount of money each time. And how we're going to do that, I'm going to go to operators, pick random 1 to 10. Let's go, we'll do 7 to 20. So to pick a random number between 7 and 20. And then I'm going to drop this right here and hit play. 15, 8, 19, 11, 14, etc., etc., etc. Every time I hit play, a random number is generated. You're going to see some repeats if you hit it enough. Obviously, there's not that many numbers between 7 and 20, but this does give you some randomness. Now, if I leave it like this, uh, I, I want to, I did have a, do have a random number picked, but I want to also say I have this many dollars. So we're going to need to put some text in here. You can't just add another think because it will replace this one. So what we're going to do is what's called a join. And we're going to join I have and then the random number. I'm going to place that in here and hit play. Now it says I have 19, I have 13, I have 17, I have 19, I have 20, etc., etc. I want to put a space and a dollar sign. That has to go here. I can't put it on the second part because uh, you can't put text here. This is just a, this entire thing turns into one number, so you can't put a dollar sign or a space. So where I put that is at the end of this. I have space dollar sign. Now it will display in, in a normal way. You could put a period at the end, but you're going to need another join. And let's go ahead and do that. Join. So what's going first is what you already see on the screen. And at the end, actually, I like to put my dollar sign at the end because that's actually how we speak and all the other units we use uh, go at the end. So now it's going to say I have the number and then a dollar sign. <clears throat> so it didn't say that because I didn't put this into the code. It just says I have 15 in the original. So let's drop that there. There we go, $14, $7, $12, $20, $10. All right. So that is two joins in a row. Uh, but we still have an issue because uh, what we're going to do is use this number and we're going to purchase items in the future. And we have to save this value. And the way that we save value is with variables. So I'm going to make a variable here. I'm going to call it my money. Well, we'll just call it money. Now, this is important. The default is for all sprites. We're going to leave that on here because we're only going to have one character that has money. Later, we're going to have multiple things to buy. And when there's multiple things to buy, they're each going to have their own value. So later on, we're going to make cost variables, but they're going to be only for each sprite. So right now, for all sprites, meaning that any sprite, anything can access this in our program. So you see that money showed up up here in the upper right corner. The numerical default value is zero. You can drag that over here, uh, but of course it doesn't do anything when it's just floating. So we're going to go back to, nope, we're right here, set money to. So we can set a value of money, set money to. Now, I don't want to use zero. I want to put the random value 7 to 20 right here. So this will set money to be a random value between 7 and 20. And of course, if I hit play, what you will see is the money value in the upper left says 20, says 16, 14. But of course, it says I have banana. We don't want to have banana. We want to have that number 14 in place of banana. And the way we do that, here is that value. We drop it right there. So now it's going to say, I have a money, the number for money, and then the dollar sign. I have $7, I have $14, I have $16, etc., etc. I actually don't like the font. It looks like 17S. So what I'm going to do, oh no, I'm going to put a period. And I'm just going to go back to how I had it formatted earlier with the dollar sign in front. All right, that looks better. Okay, 
So we've accomplished creating a variable, setting a random value, and displaying it on the screen. Uh, and of course, it's whenever the uh, green flag is clicked.